I'm now going to demonstrate equalization, which is the process of boosting or cutting particular areas of the frequency range in a sound. It can be used to remove problems, add presence to sound, or as simply a creative slash sound design tool. So let's start with our egg shaper grab sound. Let's have a listen. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is grab the equalizer plugin. And you'll see it brings up a large grid, uh, which is basically frequency content mapped horizontally and boost or cut mapped vertically. Make sure the EQ type is draw. This will allow me to draw a graph, which will give me a bit more precision in the kind of processes that I want to apply. We can also change the level of gain and cut using these sliders on the right. I'm going to start with a brand new EQ, so let's flatten it. And to draw my graph, I simply click and drag. I'm actually going to cut everything down to this point. So I bring it right down to minus around about 100. Then I click and drag another point up here and bring it back to zero. Let's have a listen using the preview button. Okay, that's pretty close to what I want. I might just fine tune it a little bit and then apply it. I really just want that kind of raspy sound which I want to use later on in a project. Click OK. Let's have a listen. Okay, so we've got just that nice raspy sound. In this next example, I'm going to take the raw high pitch fade in sample, remove a bit of the low frequency content and a bit off the top end to create a short percussive sound. So let's go to effect, equalization, and I'll start drawing my graph. I'm going to start it at around about 700 and cut everything below. And we'll slide it up here, just above a thousand, and then we'll roll it off just after 10,000. Let's have a listen using the preview button. That's great. Okay, click OK. Have a listen again. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to leave that as is. In this next example, what I want to do is create another short percussive sound using the blast sample. I'm going to do this by creating what's called a kind of combing effect where you get sort of resonant points within the sound. To do this, I'm going to use the equalization plugin again. But let's have a listen first. Okay, so it's a noisy kind of sample. We go to effect, equalization, and I'm just going to start to draw in a wave shape around the mid range band. I'll actually pull down the lower end and the upper end a little bit. Okay, let's preview. That's pretty good, but I want to get rid of more of that raspy sound at the top. So let's cut this right down here and let's actually see what we can do about cutting the low frequency content and have a listen. Okay, that sounds good. Let's click OK. Now you'll notice we've lost quite a bit of content here. We can always go and normalise it back up. Let's have a listen. Sounds pretty good. Only problem is we've got clicks at the beginning. Let's see if we can get rid of those. Fade in. And clicks at the end. Let's see if we can get rid of those. Fade out. Okay, have another listen. I like the sound of that, so I'm going to keep it. Okay, in this next example, I'm going to create a bass-like percussive sound. I'm actually going to do it using a water sample. So let's have a listen what we have here. Okay, so the first thing I do, again, is go to Effect, Equalization, and I'm going to draw a graph that just grabs the frequency content at around about 90 hertz and rolls it off up to about 200 hertz. Let's have a listen. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I might give it a bit of a boost and I also might make the roll in slightly less steep and the fade out slightly less steep. Let's have a listen again. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's click OK. And we'll normalize this to bring the level up. 
have a listen. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. The only issues are obviously clicks at the beginning. So I'll go effect, fade in. And I'm actually gonna chop out most of this content here by selecting and hitting delete and then fade out the rest. Let's have a listen. That's sounding really good, so I'm gonna keep that. 